Hi guys, Spainlini here. Today we're making multigrain bread. For this recipe, please visit my website for a full list of what you will need. So for starters, take all your nuts and seeds that you're going to use and soak them for at least an hour, preferably six to eight. Then, when you're ready to make your bread, add your flour, your yeast, and your salt in a large bowl, preferably glass or metal. Then, add your oil, preferably a neutral oil like grapeseed or canola. Then, quickly mix with a spoon to break up the honey and the oil pieces. This just makes it easy later. Now, add your liberally rinsed nuts and seeds, and mix again with your spoon. You're going to want to coat each little piece with flour. This makes it easier to incorporate later and prevents big pockets of flour. Try not to spill it like I did. This is what it should look like. Now, add about three-fourths a cup hot water. You don't want to add the full cup to start with because you might not need it. When the mixture is too thick to mix with a spoon, use your hands. I like to put a glove on just to make things easier. Now, start squishing the bread together to mix everything in. This really is the easiest way. Then, as needed, add water to your hand and continue to mix in and repeat until the mixture starts to look like bread dough. I used one cup plus one tablespoon of hot water. You may need more or less depending on the type of flour and the protein content that's in your flour. Continue to mix until it starts to look like a dough ball. Now, when the dough gets to the point that you see here, it's just about ready. It'll hold its shape, press it into a ball, trying to get most of the air out. Take another neutral oil like grapeseed or canola, take about one teaspoon and spread on top and below the dough ball and on the sides of the bowl. This just helps with the rising process. You want to take a cloth like a flour sack like I did, cover and let rest for at least 40 minutes, preferably until doubled in size. When the dough has risen or doubled, take your loaf pan or baking sheet as I'm going to do and set it to the side. Now take your dough ball and try to press some of the air out. Don't worry, it'll bounce back later. You want to press all the air out that you can before you put it on the loaf pan. This will make a better bread. Now, if you're using loaf pans, this will make two regular sized loaves of bread. Or, get a flat sheet like I am and make a freestyle loaf. I'm going for long, flat loaf. I'm just going to use a spoon here to help me get the shape that I want. When you get the desired shape that you want, Take your cloth again, set it on top, and rise until doubled or at least an hour. When it's done, you'll know because you can poke your finger into it and it'll go in slightly, hold its shape, and eventually bounce back slowly. You know you're ready to bake. Heat your oven to 350 degrees, bake for 40 to 50 minutes or until seen here. And that's pretty much it. For this recipe and much more, visit www.fainleynamir.com. Thanks, guys. Bye.